Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Semicon West in San Francisco and I'm joined by Peter Gillespie who is the Chief Marketing Officer of Semi. Peter, thanks for joining me. Start by telling me a little bit about what's new at the show this year and what's really been attracting attention. Okay, uh, great. Yeah, this year it's um, really much more about the whole um, supply chain, the extended electronics uh, manufacturing supply chain, where we really brought in people that are not just the customer, but our customers' customers that are driving the next application areas. So we have World of IoT, which is really all about uh, all the connected devices that are coming our way. Basically, everything is going to be talking to everything else. Mm -hmm. And um, really for us, uh, personally, we have a lot of involvement in the industrial IoT where factories are really using a lot more sensors and bringing those to increase productivity and also um, cost-effective uh, reliability and uh, uptime. Um, we're also, we have programs on automotive with the new um, proliferation of uh, autonomous vehicles and electric vehicles. There's a lot more electronics that are required. And so those requirements were getting directly from the automotive uh, folks uh, being uh, delivered straight to the people that are manufacturing the chips and the whole extended supply chain. We are also bringing in other adjacent industries that um, are really being integrated into um, electronics components like uh, flexible hybrid electronics. So for wearables that might have a chip but has flexible and printed components and how that all works together and MEMS and sensors that really power it all. There's programs for all that and people on the show all around us that are participate in all those areas. Yeah, and there's a real blurring of lines between the industry sectors now. The IoT area particularly is bringing everybody together as it should do with the connectivity. The keynote, I think, from John Kern from Cisco was really interesting on that topic. And we're seeing that theme repeated in SMT events, in design events, in all kinds of other events. How important is it for a show like Semi to involve those other sectors of the supply chain, pretty much from, you know, order point all the way through to fulfillment of the product? Well, I think it's really important now is um, really the end markets have fragmented a lot and it's not now where you make a component and expect it to be used everywhere. People need uh, specific application components and so really getting everybody together to synchronize that supply chain is critical. But one area where you see it all come together and there's a number of packaging um, conference elements, there's a number of uh, packaging um, events because where chips meet other interfaces is becoming critically important and it brings in photonics, it brings in MEMS, it brings in flexible hybrid electronics and how those all interface in a reliable way in the smallest possible form factor is something that only can be worked out with participation of everyone. And yeah. Semi also, in addition to the trade show, we do the standards that keep us all synchronized together. Yeah, and that's important as well. And, you know, everybody, when we talk about IoT, the, one of the first topics that's, that come up is why isn't there a standard? How can we achieve a standard? And I know SEMI isn't the only trade association that's working hard to do that. So that's that's really important. As you as you have all these peripheral activities, it becomes really important to then provide the platform to educate on those. And you have quite a few forums on the on the event floors. They seem to be pretty well pretty well supported, lots of good audience at those events. How important is that a part of a big trade show like this now? Well, I think it's really important. Um, you know, it's a great forum to share ideas. It's a great forum to get up to date. Um, we have four tech spots, uh, so four stages on the show floor that are running all the time, and they've been like standing room only. We also have uh, closed uh, conference room uh, programs that are smaller, more intimate, deeper dives, and so you get the um, opportunity to either sort of survey what's in available in the technology space, or if you're really next to find what's next and really talk to the people that are making the, the roadmaps and the decisions for the next five years. Yeah. And Semicon, Semicon West has been around a long time. The semi shows around the world have been around a long time. How do you keep them fresh? How do you keep reinventing? Is it, is it the customers, the members that are driving or where do the ideas come from? Well, you know, from the customers, absolutely. Um, this is the 46th year of Semicon West. Um, but, you know, Semicon China is now our biggest show. So some things follow regional dynamics. Right now there's a tremendous amount of uh, investment in China. But in, in the U.S. area there's innovation and it's all about design and, and uh, this is where Silicon Valley is and, and Apple. And you have a tremendous ecosystem of what's really going to be the next 
killer app, where is IoT moving, and a lot of those things are getting defined here. So each region has its own um, rhythms and its own interests, and uh, it's absolutely driven by the exhibitors and, uh, and the attendees and what they want. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's been a great show. One more day. Hopefully the success continues. Thanks yeah. for talking to me, and thank you for your time. Thank you very much.